Romans, players, America, lend me your ears. This is Mike the Philosopher here with another ranking. And this one is from African women to the world. Check this out. Check it out. Stop looking at me and check it out. Let's start. So what's your name? Um, I'm Claire. Okay. Claire, what's your what's your age? I like the frame, I like the the body. It looks nice. Um she looks nice there. Um, turning 24 this week. Okay, 24 this week. Very, <laughs> very close. <laughs> How tall are you? Um, 5'4". Five 5'4". Four. Five four. That's like, yeah. it's like everybody's height. Yeah, it's almost like a default height. Um, she actually, I don't know why she looks taller than that, but she actually looks taller than that to me. But I'll take her word for it, 5'4". It's like so many people type. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you smoke or drink? Mm, drink just a little. A little bit, as in, mm -hmm. it's like a, a little bit each day, or a little bit. Not occasionally, occasionally, yeah. And no smoking. No smoking. No smoking. Okay. Drink a little bit, no smoking. I see she got the braces in. Um, nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, sometimes they, you know, you need to be careful sometimes, but that's cool. Um, yeah, 24, she don't need to be smoking. Light drinking is, is acceptable. That's, you know, that's okay. She's at the age, so let's go back in. So, which tribe are you from? I'm from Kenya, first of all. Uh huh. You are from Kenya. No, yeah. yeah. I didn't even ask that. You know what? Somebody in here is trying to play me for a fool. Uh <laughs> <laughs> he asked, What tribe is she from? And she stated where she's actually from. Um, yeah, but that's a good question, though, because when you're in Africa, you got to be aware of the tribes, too. There are different tribes. Different tribes have different traditions um, and different ways of doing things, especially if you plan on dating an African woman. You need to know what tribe she comes from. You need to know their customs. You need to know, like, sometimes there's dowries in, involved. Sometimes there are... Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of things uh, you have to give some prefer and this is just real. Some prefer goats or cows or, or, or something of that nature, which they consider currency. Um, so you would have to know the tribes and their customs if you want to date one of these women. Look like she's from Kenya. I'd be interested to know what tribe she's from. Maybe she'll answer that. Let's let's go back in. No, you're asking my tribe, right? <laughs> yes. I, I forgot to ask you where you're from. I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, Kikuyu, yeah. Kikuyu, okay, cool, cool. Um, what do you do for a living? I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. Yes, I, um, uh, my mom and I run a business. So I'm actually running my mom's businesses, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. you run a business, and what type of business is it? Or you help your mom run it? Yeah. What kind of business it's, is it? Um, we are a distributor. We have like uh, two wines and spirits. Yeah. If you want, you can. If you want, you can advertise on the show. It's it's fine. If you want, you can advertise like, hey, this is this is where it's at. Where this is what we do. You know, get get your stuff out there. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, 
Do you have any kids? No. No kids. None. Yes. Mm, do you do you live alone? No, I live with my parents. Okay, cool. Yeah. Which you know is normal. I know you're like I, I live with my parents. No, I'm I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, in Africa, that's that's still considered normal. There, you know, I, you know, people live. Sometimes they live with their parents in their 30s and 40s. I mean, Africa is really a community um, continent. Really, it's a community. Everybody, everybody, um, they really believe in the community there. So. So if she says she lived with her parents, that's 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 pretty normal. It's not normal in the West, but it's starting to become more normal because the prices of everything, inflation, gas, it's harder and harder on the kids nowadays to get out of their parents' house because uh, the cost of living is through the roof and it's ridiculous. Um, but it's always kind of been expensive for people in Africa, so they always stay with their parents, and it's just been a way of life. It's 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 the you know each one teach one. Uh, we, it takes a nation, you know, um, to 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 raise a family. They really believe that stuff in in African countries. Let's go in. It's normal. That's a tough. That's a tough. <laughs> um. What, what what type of guy do you like? Um, first of all, he has to be handsome, yeah. That's a given. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good hygiene. Mhm. Mm uh, he has to be multifaceted. Okay. You know different aspects and uh, features, characters, all that. Uh, by this, I mean this guy has to be, you know, good fearing and at the same time, you know, outgoing, has good vibes, good energy, all that. Yeah. Okay. So you you already answered one of the questions. Um, you said God fearing, so I'm guessing you're a Christian. <laughs> I am a Christian. Okay. okay. Cool. Cool. So we'll we'll skip that part of. The questioning. <laughs> well, yeah, good guy fearing. Uh, I, she sounds like she wants an outgoing guy, probably a guy that, because she seems a little shy, so she needs a guy to bring that out of her. So a lot of times people are often uh, look for stuff that they lack, you know, um, or, you know, there, there there's two ways to pick people, and that's you have something in common, or you you're looking for something you lack okay so you know handsome you know uh you know multifaceted i guess she likes that about herself she probably considers herself multifaceted god fearing same um but the whole outgoing thing i think that's probably one of the opposites that she probably needs help with I'm, i mean she could be outgoing but she seems shy to me i don't know if, if i'm wrong with that put it in the comments but um yeah so let's go back in so what do you i think so it's both of the same question i asked you what do you like and i was going to ask you what you dislike and i think you mentioned hygiene is one of the things that you that you like hey if you don't if you don't wash your butt then um it's not gonna be good for me yeah it's it's funny because it seems like a lot of women outside of the uh, u.s really focus on hygiene um i don't know if that's just a given here in the in the states women don't that's not like on the top of uh western women's um list because maybe for the most part most guys are hygienic i don't know but I just find it funny that it seemed like foreign women really stress hygiene, like it's not a priority in their country. I don't know. Um, if I'm wrong with that, put it in the comments too. But I just find it odd that hygiene, like in the West, we, we I mean, that's like so, not that it's not important, but it's just like so low on the list of things that they ask for, you know. 
uh, it's just funny to me um, the different lists that women from different countries ask for. So let's go in. <laughs> so maybe as far as um, is there like a height requirement? Height requirement, as long as he's taller than me, that's that's it. Like I don't have a specific uh, height requirement. Is there like a certain build uh, requirement? Like you're like, I don't like skinny guys. Or I don't like super fat guys. And not at all. I don't have. You don't have any requirement for that. Wow. Okay. Cool. You know, yeah. as long as he's cute, then all that. Yeah. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Cute, 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 and cute. The dangerous combination. <laughs> awesome. Bye. See there, and that's that's not what you'll find in the West. A lot of women will be like, "Oh, I got a preference, this, that, and the third. And you know, again, I'm just tripping off of the different lists that women have in different countries. Um, just by this interview, take away the accent. Even if she was typing her answers, I would know she ain't from the West. Just facts. Let's go in. Body positivity. <laughs> um, what do you think is your best trait? My best trait. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm always I'm a happy person. Mm -hmm. Uh, positive, kind, and loving. Yeah. Good traits. Good traits. Um. Will you be willing to uh, relocate? Why not? <laughs> there you go. Is it specific? Is it specific places though? Are you like, hey, this would be a, a a great place to meet somebody or like be there. Um, outside the country. Mhm. Mm Is there any place where you like? If I can move mm -hmm. there. It would be awesome. Like, I like, I like Canada. Canada? Yeah, a lot Vancouver, of people. Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of... It's funny to me how many women love Canada. Um, and that's, that's cool. That's cool. That's great. Um, I often wonder, though, how African, like, African women we talking about. You ready for Canada? Do you know how cold it is in Canada? Are you sure? Be careful what you wish for. Because you're going to get that cold weather. And, uh, you know, I used to date an African woman. Okay. And just here in the States, she couldn't deal with the cold. <laughs> she she couldn't deal with the cold. And I'm, I'm on, I, I, I guess you can consider it the, the, more of the southern side of the United States. So she couldn't deal with the cold here. So be careful what you wish for. I'm just saying. in Canada. Yeah. It's, e it's easier to, to get into Canada. So. But I also don't mind any other countries. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I get what you're saying. Any, anything outside <laughs> of. Uh, African countries. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have uh, nah, I asked that already. So I asked you, do you have any kids? Do you want any more kids? Do I want kids? Mm -hmm. Of course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. How many? Do you have tattoos or piercings? Uh, no, I don't have any tattoo. Mm hmm. Only have this piercing. Okay. I have to say, I like her disposition. I like how she moves. I like her mannerisms. I like her um, spirit. You know, uh, it's pretty welcoming and engaging. She seems like a uh, fun person to be around. She seems like a um, easy person to be around. Um, you know, so yeah, I, I like that about her. Let's go back. It, it, yeah, it, you only have just very simple and plain, <laughs> which is good. Not saying it's bad. It's very <laughs> straightforward, very simple. Um, do you have any like hobbies or 
like special talents or anything like that? Funny enough, I don't have any talent. You can't no, dance. Um, no, I don't like dancing. I'm very shy, by the way. Oh, see there, I haven't seen this before. She says she's very shy. I told you. I, I, I mean, it's not like like it's rocket science. Like you know, you know, everybody could see that she was pretty shy. But um, like I said, I haven't seen this before. So it, she admitted she's shy. That's why she wants an outgoing guy to uh, you know make up for where she's. I guess you could call it lacking or whatever. Um, so yeah, I just found that interesting. Let's go back. So, um, hobbies are they listening to music? That's it. What, what kind of music? I'm an R and B and a hip hop fan. You have any um, any movie recommendations for us? Movie recommendation? Ah. Huh. Any any recent uh, Netflix? A recent, recent Netflix. Um, yes, the Tinder Swindler. Tinder Swindler. Yeah. <laughs> Tinder, the Tinder Swindler. All right. Uh, she was she was a joy to watch here, uh, Karen. I'm gonna go ahead and give her a ranking. Check this out. And there you have it, uh, Karen. She was, you know, she was a pleasure to watch and pleasure to learn from, and and you know how how her culture and everything handles things, um, the tribe she's from. Uh, she was a pretty pretty nice young lady. So let me go ahead and rank her. I'm gonna give her face a five. On to the body. I thought her body, especially in the uh, photos that they showed, uh, she looked pretty nice. Had a, a very nice body. So I gave that a seven. And on to her mentality. She seemed to have a pretty good mentality with things. Um, you know, very easy to talk to. Seemed like she's a pleasure to be around. Um, and for that reason, I gave her mentality an eight. All of that for a total of 20 points. So there you have it from Karen. She looks like a lovely young lady. Sure, she'll make one guy a pretty happy guy. Y'all go check her out. That being said, hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe. Okay. Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? What would y'all, what would y'all rank her? What would y'all give her? Uh, let me know. Put it in the comments. And uh, I will catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Who you talking to? You say what they want, but can't. I say what you think, but won't.